This is Richard Price, and I'm going to show you how to clean your curing light so it's ready for use on a patient. Maybe your curing light looks a little bit like this. Maybe there's some debris on the tip. This can easily be removed. There are three steps to follow. The first is to clean, the second is to disinfect, and the third is to apply a barrier. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions when cleaning and disinfecting the light, otherwise you might damage the light itself. Here we're using Cavi wipes, but a similar product such as Maxi wipes could be used and neither product should damage the light or the light guide. First we'll use one Cavi wipe to clean and then we'll disinfect afterwards with the second wipe. When we're cleaning You'll notice that we're going from one end to the other and if there's any composite on the body of the light then we just rub the surface a little bit harder and usually the composite just comes right off. Work methodically from one end of the light to the other. Pay careful attention around the buttons and also around any joint areas where debris may have collected. Look at the debris that was removed from this light. You can either autoclave the light guide or you can disinfect the light guide with the wipes. Here we can see using the wipes. For stubborn debris, remove the tip from the body of the light so that you can apply some pressure using an alcohol wipe and your fingernail. Rub vigorously and any debris will come off. Do not use a sharp metal instrument or anything that might scratch the surface of the light guide. Here we can see it's nice and clean. All the composite was removed. You should use an alcohol wipe to clean the entrance of the light guide. That's where the light goes in and remove any debris that's there. If needed, carefully clean the area around the O-rings. Try and avoid touching the actual LEDs. And then when everything is clean and dry, carefully put the light guide back onto the curing light. Make sure you hear it click and make sure it's gone down all the way. Now that the light is clean, it's ready to be disinfected. Always follow the instructions for use and make sure that the surface is left wet for the recommended amount of time, in this case, three minutes. So once again, we'll start from one end and work our way up. And at the end of all this, the light that was once dirty, such as this, is now clean like this. Remember also to clean the charging base. In this particular light, there are no charging contacts to worry about. So we can go in, use a wipe and disinfect and clean the entire base. You can clean the orange shield with cavi wipes as well if you wish. So there's no debris left on those. Or alternatively, you can use the disposable shields such as the Curve Vision Saver. These are thrown away after every patient use. Here we can see the curing light with the vision saver on. The CDC has recommended that barrier protection also be used to cover the entire curing light. Here we can see the blue face style sleeves that completely cover the light. Before covering the light with the barrier sleeve, make sure it's been thoroughly disinfected and the surface is dry. Otherwise the sleeve will stick to the light and it'll be very hard to put on. Here we can see that the style sleeve fits the light snugly and covers all the buttons. Now this barrier sleeve must be applied correctly. It makes sense that if you have wrinkles or folds over the end of the light tip, this can reduce the light output. In fact, a recent study of ours shows that it can reduce the output by 30% or more. So don't have the seam over the tip, such as you see in this picture here, or any folds. Make sure it's nice and taut over the end. So now the light is ready for use. Just some further information on this particular light. If you need to remove the battery, you're going to press this button and then carefully remove the battery. Don't force it. There have been uh, reports of uh, the battery compartment breaking because people have been pulling on it too hard. Any seams or joint areas should be cleaned. Here we can see some debris in that one. So we just go around with the cavi wipes and just clean it really well. When replacing the battery, don't force it on. Just line up the guides on the side like this. 
identify them, make sure you're putting it on the right way around, and it just clicks into place. I find it charges a lot better if you roll back the barrier. If you haven't used the light for some time, it may have gone into the deep sleep mode. This is easily fixed by following the information that's available on the website. You just need to remove the battery from the curing light and then charge the battery alone for about 15 minutes, after which time you can reconnect the battery on the light and it should work just fine. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Here's my address. Thank you very much for listening.